Yeah, Sabrin, uh, Sabrin's going to go in. Uh, Golo will go back in uh, for Boro. What kind of loss is it to uh, miss Mark in these kinds of games? Well, the, uh, I don't think a game like today needs a, a ton of uh, guys to get the emotion up. I think when you have a sold-out crowd, you're playing uh, Toronto, guys will be fired up and ready. It's, um, it's his physical presence on a night like tonight uh, in the D zone. Guys don't like to play against him. Um, you know, and, and he's a big part of our group back there. He's physical. He's a good penalty killer. We've struggled a little bit on the penalty kill of late, uh, you know, and he's been out for three of those four games. What's the big Jack Campbell? Uh, I, I, he was here against LA when we played. I don't know if you had him out. Yeah, I had, actually, I had him in Windsor um, uh, for, uh, for a year. Uh, Jack is is one of the most uh, hardworking kids, and, and maybe, and I tell people this a lot. He, he's one of the nicest human beings that I've maybe ever coached. Um, generally, just a really nice guy, um, and a guy that certainly has taken a long way to get here. You know, for being a high pick um, in Dallas, you know, to he was in the East Coast League, and he's continued to work and get an opportunity in LA, and now here in Toronto on the big on the on the uh, the big circuit here and and trying to get that team in the playoffs and and he's playing here tonight he's certainly done a nice job but uh, we're going to do everything we can to to derail that what's the biggest difference you've noticed on how toronto uses its defense core since you left well they're certainly really active their their breakouts their d are really active um you know a lot of kickbacks in the neutral zone um you know in building it uh, whereas uh, with Babs, you know, it was it was quick ups and, and fast and speed. Um, so this this group's, you know, and, and teams are different in the league. Some teams play this way. Uh, some teams play, you know, come at you, come at you the, the whole game. So uh, you just got to adapt night to night. What's the best way to counter against a team that likes to activate the D like that? Well, you stay above them. Um, and I think Dallas did that the other night. They just kind of stood there and played a boring game and stood above them, above them and made them go through five guys uh, the whole game. So, um, you know, I think coaches these days, assistant coaches, video people do such a good job. You can adapt very quickly, um, you know, and there's different games. You know, when, you, when you're playing the St. Louis Blues, they just keep coming at you and smack you the whole game. Um, you know, and there's other teams that, that build it with, uh, with speed and you're going to have to stay above them. So um, we know that we can't give them out number rushes. Uh, we can't let them get set up in the ozone. They just have too much skill and they're just too good. You talked about Zaitsev after the Colorado game. What's his game? I mean, the quiet guy in that sense, I suppose, that he just does a job defensively. Been really happy with his play lately. Oh, he's been great. I mean, uh, I, I don't know if he let Taylor Hall in more than a couple times the other night. Uh, his feet are the best of anyone on our back end, defensively anyways, uh, backward skating. Um, his gap's really good. He doesn't give you much time. He plays you hard in the D zone. Um, you know, he's he's a guy you want to put against the best players. He'll be seeing every shift against Matthews tonight, um, and uh, he's going to do everything he can to keep that puck out of the net. What do you know about, or what did you know about Connor Brown that you now he's your leading forward, nice time, he's your leading point scorer? Did he just have too many guys in front of him in Toronto, or is there something about the way you've been able to coach him? Well, I probably had more of a look at Connor. Um, I watched him lead the OHL in scoring when I, you know, when I was there, and I watched him play on McDavid's line and all the offensive things he could do. Um, I, I saw that part of him, and then in Toronto, I seen how he had to adapt uh, to play the defensive side of the game to get in the NHL. And a lot of players kind of buck that system, and it takes him longer to get to the NHL. Connor did a really nice job of doing that. Um, so I knew he'd get more of an opportunity here, us not being as top-heavy as Toronto. And I think it's more the opportunity than it is that, you know, I don't know if he'd have been able to do that in Toronto with the guys, the Marners and those guys there. I, I don't think the minutes would have been there for him.